it's going to be a bad, you know, news feed for the against the league and the Dolphins. Does it have to be my original words, or can I quote someone? You can quote, yeah, you can do whatever you want. Do whatever I want. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Words here, right? Yeah. Then it says, no, so then it says the public defender. Alternate. And then it says alternate of municipal court prosecutor. It's so supposed to be prosecutor. I apologize. So it's prosecutor, right? I, mix, I put it, I missed one to fix the it. The first. Oh, and hit the, the oh, first, you're right. Uh, first paragraph? The first whereas is one okay. task, the, other, the second one is another one. You're right. This, you already voted on oh, Every I? year, guys, from 2019 back, his was wrong. I believe that. <laughs> I believe <laughs> it. I so I fixed it in you're most right, places. You're right, on that one. It's, it should be alternate public uh, municipal funny, prosecutor. Right? I have a deal <clears> with Rick Rosa right now. What's that? I have a deal with Rick Rosa right now. Really? Uh-huh. Really? How about that? Huh. When I saw <coughs> that's who was, mm -hmm. I mean, I work primarily with his associate, mm -hmm. but when I saw that that was the name, I was like, mm -hmm. it's so funny because I've been working with him for like months now. Actually, the second deal I'm working with him. Excuse me. You ready, Nancy? Mm -hmm. The 7 p.m. work session, Tuesday, <coughs> February 1st, 2022, of the Wycliffe Township Committee is now in session. Roll call, please. Mr. Madigan? Here. Mr. Melchione? Here. Ms. Rubenstein? Here. Mr. Shanley? Here. And Mayor Brunstra? Here. <coughs> This work session meeting of the Wyckoff Township Committee is now in session. In accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act, notice of this meeting appears on our annual schedule of meetings. A copy of said annual schedule has been posted on the bulletin board in Memorial Town Hall. A copy has been filed with the municipal clerk and has been emailed to the Record, the Ridgewood News, and the North Jersey Herald and News, all newspapers having a general circulation throughout the township of Wyckoff. At least 48 hours prior to this meeting, the agenda thereof was similarly posted, filed, and emailed to said newspapers. Thank you. Can we confirm that with the Finance Committee has reviewed and signed the vouchers? They have, Mr. And Mayor. And the Mayor and Clerk, I just signed some documents, have signed all the documents we need to sign. Looks like yes. we do and we have. Okay, and I'll take a motion to open the minute for public comment. Ten minutes total, two minutes per speaker. So moved. Second. Mr. Madigan? Yes. Mr. Melchione? Yes. Ms. Rubenstein? Yes. Mr. Shanley? Yes. 
And Mayor Boonstra. Yes. With an affirmative vote, the motion is approved. Thank you. Um, there, seeing there's no one here, um, I will ask anyone, if anyone wishes to step forward to the microphone or call 201-891-7000, extension 2220, if you wish to make a comment. Hearing no one, I move to close the public uh, comment period. Second. Mr. Madigan? Yes. Mr. Melchione? Yes. Ms. Rubenstein? Yes. Mr. Shanley? Yes. And Mayor Boonstone? Yes. Okay. Motion carries. Nancy, is there anything we need to review on the 8 p.m. agenda? It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty I think. straightforward. Um, but on tonight's agenda, you'll be memorializing Kevin O'Neill as a junior firefighter with Company right. 3. And you will approve and memorialize police officer Kyle Sherm's regular appointment after the successful completion of his two year probationary period. And tonight we'll be also introducing an ordinance to fund the $48,000 municipal match to the 2021 Vernon County Municipal Park Improvement Grant. With this grant, we will finally be completing the last section of the walking trail surface with flexi paved material at Russell Farms, uh, Russell Farm Community Park. That's great. Thank you, Nancy. You're welcome. Um, review of policy action items. Do we wish to I do just that? Have, it's not really policy action items, but just a couple of things to note. This morning, Joe Salerno raised the two flags for February on the government speech flagpole near the library, okay. the Heart Health Month flag and the Black History Month flag. Okay. For your awareness regarding the proposed project to replace a structurally deficient culvert with a reinforced concrete pipe arch structure at milepost 6.32 along New Jersey Route 208, we have received notification from the NJDOT. They have notified us that they have made application for permits with the New Jersey DEP. Division of Land Resource Protection. Copies of the plans and reports are available in my office for public inspection. A huge box was delivered. Many, many documents. On Friday, January 28th, the Waco Police Department, along with the New Jersey Division of Motor Vehicles, mobile inspection team, conducted a safety checkpoint on Franklin Avenue at Zabriskie Pond. They inspected 30 vehicles and issued 17 summonses. Six township employees or volunteers were able to take advantage of this service and have their vehicles inspect inspection renewed. Uh, last week, we received the grant reimbursement check from Sustainable Jersey to close out the 2019 Sustainable Jersey Small Grant, which funded energy efficiency and building upgrades at the Larkin House, replacement of an older air conditioning system with a more energy efficient system. We received our 2022 invoice from Bergen County for 911 services, and it remains at 191000 for 2022. And just today, we received a letter from Bergen County telling us that they are recommending approval of our updated stormwater management plan to the Bergen County Planning Board. So that was one of the final That's things that Bob made sure was finished. Yeah. And um, yes, yeah. yeah, so I you. sent him a photo of the letter. Nice and job. He's very excited. Yeah. Excellent. Bob shot in the pussy. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I have. That's it, Nancy. Thank you. Uh, Township Committee reports. Tim, can we start with you again? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> well, the zoning Board met on the third Thursday of uh, January. They elected Carl Fry to be the chairman, and they elected Mark Borst to be the vice chair. They held, they heard two um, variant applications. They granted one regarding uh, putting um, HVAC, like air, air conditioning units, on a corner lot on one of the on the side of the house, which is a front house because, but there's going to be screening there. It's on the corner of Crescent, and I forget which other one, but there's going to be appropriate screening. Um, you know, utilizing uh, shrubbery that you won't see it. So they, they, you know, they heard the hardship of putting it because there was no way to get the utilities in without really kind of going underground with it. And they heard it and, you know, they made findings that, you know, the, 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 um, the, um, the, the barrier that they were going to put there that you wouldn't see it. And if you put it in the backyard, you could still see it, so there wouldn't have to be any uh, any kind of shrubbery that would go there to block it. The other application was for signage that's going to go up at the Sainese, um, you know, church and school. They're replacing most of the old signage and they're putting up new and some additional signs that uh, that will help you know guide with some of the safety around the town, around the uh, the campus. Uh, and then um, the rec department um, has received, they've received a donation from the torpedoes, which we're going to accept tonight for $10,000 for lighting around that cage unit that is over there in Memorial. 
it's basically turf with fencing around it where um, some of the torpedoes teams will practice. I spoke with Andy. Andy said it was a good thing for them to donate. It's going to cover two-thirds of the cost for it. But the benefit to the town is Andy will be able to turn on just those lights when they're using it and not the lights for like basically the whole campus. So he's going to be able to focus that. So it'll be cost savings on electricity so we don't have to have the basketball lights on when they're using it. Uh, and the other thing is um, I want to start working on the fireworks committee and I just looked at some of the dates in um, September and let me just pull it. Uh, I looked at when Rosh Hashanah is. That starts the evening of 925, which is a Sunday. So the three Saturdays that we would look at are September 10th, September 17th, and September 24th. Those are both Saturdays. Spoke with Andy uh, Wigfield about any issues with uh, fields being used that day, any of those three days. He said no, but he suggested that we consider uh, September 10th because football will likely start on the 17th. <clears throat> um, and, it, you know, we could probably work with either all three of those. It's just I don't know what the preference is of the township committee as to any of those three days before I start trying to lock it in. What day does school start? That I don't know. I mean, Labor Day is the 5th, so I'm assuming Six. it starts the 7th, which Six is a Wednesday. Seven. Yeah, Labor Day is the 5th. And they usually start, the, like, two days after Labor Day. The fire department's uh, fundraiser over the beach party is September 8th. September 8th, which is a Thursday. <clears throat> Any, I mean, I, I would prefer it to be before football starts. Right. Because all of the football and cheer families have an issue with getting there if it's the town. Oh, I, yeah, I, yeah, I would agree. And Andy doesn't think the season's going to start on the 10th, yeah. so that's why. I mean, I think that would be the best the to only, get a lot of The only issue there. is whether or not the fire department uh, goes down to that Cape May uh, fire thing. That's the only thing we'll have to check. Well, that's when that would be, I think. I don't know no, what the No, the last is. time it was the 17th. The convention. The convention was on last on the third Thursday, third okay. Saturday. Okay. So I'll check with Joe Vanderplatt as to when that is, and then we'll go from there. But right now, when will Andy know when the football okay. season starts? Um, he, he he that usually doesn't get set up as yeah. to you know when. Too late to yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's too late. So we kind of okay. last last year we set it before we knew, but right. we we were more toward the end of September. Right now. So their Wildwood convention is actually the 16th and 17th. Oh, okay. This year. So then we they would, already have the, the dates of it. The 917 would be out. So it'd be between 910 and 924. Mm -hmm. And didn't we run into this with needing a rain date? We can't do the rain date on Rosh Hashanah, um, which would take out that yeah. Sunday. So, I mean, the issue is we've never, I mean, the problem is 9 11 would be the rain date, which we would never <coughs> do, right. no, do any no. kind of fireworks on, on, on 9 11. Well, but if we could do the 10th with a rain date of the 24th, is that possible? Um, it's. I don't think so. You know, the problem is, is then you're tying up the fields, and, you know, football's got to be using them yeah. on the 24th. By the way, I have a comment. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. First of all, I think it's great that we're going to do it again. I think it's great that we're getting away from uh, Labor Day, which we've done the last couple of years. Uh -huh. I kind of like it later in the month. I can appreciate the concept about football. My, my recollection, and I'm not a football parent, was the last year they let the league schedule the game that day. Why can't we just tell them that we don't want it scheduled? No, it was just that they were away. They were yeah, away. they were away in Fairlawn or something. Right, except all the football and cheer families have to be could, away with right. their kids, no, no, including no. me and Tim. Okay, but my point is, why can't the football people be told that we can't play that day? That's because all. they do play that day. You, That's you not an option. It's, it's not an option. The league doesn't let us you, just you, skip you a week. You can't just say we're not going to play it. You know, the league, you know, the league sets the schedule yeah. and you got to play either home or away. Okay, so let me let me rephrase it. If the league schedule has not been sent yet, can you inquire about it? Because I vividly remember when we did the dedication over there, <clears throat> they changed it to rather than a, week, a day that they weren't playing, they went out of their way to pick that October 4th date that we were playing and weren't playing. It, so I'm just yeah, but we play yes. every week. Yeah, you play every week until it's over. All right. Let me know when the date is. Okay, be good. I will. All right. Just to well, isn't there a fireworks... Committee that's going to meet. So you I would meet. hope at some time. 
right? The fireworks committee, we said, yes. you're going to work with also the fire department liaison. So the fire department and fireworks committee is on the same page. So why don't you schedule a meeting and then come back with us with a little yeah, more I, detailed okay. report than that's just good, throwing that's, some that's stuff out suggestion. right now. Right. We're, we're pretty early here, so. No, we're early. Is that, but, you Which know, is good. Which yeah, is good. That's all. That's why so I want to start the ball know, rolling. That's all. I just want to make sure we don't have a rain date of the 25th. Yeah, okay. That has to be 100% on yeah, okay. the table. Right. Okay. No, we haven't done a rain date the last two okay. years because that's we just right. ha we were lucky enough that the yeah. weather didn't interfere with it. But if it did, we were pretty much you know, not going to have them. Okay. So that, that was the issue. So uh, that's my report. And other than yesterday was the 13th anniversary of me moving to White Girl. So I brought, uh, 13 years from now, I was unpacking my boxes <laughs> while my wife was eight months pregnant. <laughs> so anyway, best move I ever made. That's it. Melissa, thank you, Tim. Sure. A um, couple of things. The Zabriskie House Committee met and... <clears throat> Rich Lynch was um, kind enough to tell us about a $6,500 grant that we received again. Um, about 4,800 of it will receive shortly. We're getting 12 or 1,700 from last year, so we will have the full $6,500 in our bank account. In their bank account, right. so it's a good thing. We're moving along. Um, the Ramapo Indian Hills Board of Education sort of met last week. They met for about 20 minutes and then they adjourned because someone wasn't wearing a mask and they decided to adjourn the entire meeting and I guess they'll meet again next month. So no business was I heard today they were going to meet next week remote or something. I was it's some, at that. But no, that's what I heard. They sent okay. letters out to the parents of the school kids. As a liaison, one. I wasn't informed of that. Well, we should yeah, well, I only found out by accident because I didn't get a meeting notice either. No. I get them so. by email and I forward them. To yeah, them. right. But yeah. I don't think we got one about a, a remote meeting next week. So they said, I definitely not. know they sent it out to the parents. But not to us. No. You know, they would have to send out a 48-hour notice, right, Nancy? Right. So I guess they're meeting remotely now. Well, only, today. only for next week, because parents didn't behave themselves, which is in the letter. But the following week, they'll meet live, as long as parents behave themselves. Understood. So I don't know. Um, we met for the budget committee finance, um, Tom and I and Diana and Nancy and Fran, and we are making a lot of progress on the budget. Um, a lot of hard work, but a lot of, pro a lot of progress. We've met with the majority of the department heads on their capital requests. We're next going to go into the operating budget and we hope to be able to present the budget, um, preliminarily on the first meeting in March so that we can possibly approve it the first meeting in April. So Diana is doing a phenomenal job, as always. Um, and today, Pete can expand on this, but we met as a facilities committee um, to <clears throat> discuss renovations to Town Hall and expanding some office space for those who <clears throat> need it, and also made a lot of progress there. And I think we have, between all of us and the building department we have some great ideas on kind of keeping town hall moving into town hall 2.0 until we get a better name for the project it's pete's job yeah. i already told him town hall 2.0 just doesn't doesn't have a good ring to it yeah work so. in progress town hall 2 -2. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 2022 we can do yeah, better like than that. that but that's it for me melissa tom yeah, just a few things. Uh, as Melissa just said, the uh, Finance Committee has been meeting on our budget. We're meeting in tomorrow. Uh, police Committee uh, met, um, and I think the mayor will report a little bit on that. Um, I also note on our agenda this evening that we'll be memorializing Police Officer Kyle Sherm uh, for a regular appointment after his successful completion of his two-year probationary term, and I want to extend congratulations to uh, Kyle. He's doing an outstanding job, as we heard in the police committee and as we see this evening. I'll also note that we'll be approving uh, Kevin O'Neill. He's a junior firefighter with Company 3. Uh, he may be coming this evening. If he comes, he, he would come to the 8 o'clock meeting, and um, 
should he come when we vote on it, I will make a comment as fire commissioner. And I, too, note the uh, donation for the torpedoes, for the lights uh, on the cage. Thank you to them. And uh, finally, but um, just want to mention, the DPW uh, did an outstanding job over on our roads this weekend. And, uh, you know, we're fortunate. Um, I've had a couple of storms. They continue to do a, a wonderful job for us. And I know we take it for granted, but uh, congratulations to all of them. Thank you, Tom. See? All right, thank you, Mayor. Um, cybersecurity Tier 3 had their uh, first meeting of the year uh, last week. There was a, a pretty extensive cybersecurity policy that went into place last year. Uh, the meeting was just to review what went on last year and what's going to go on uh, in 2022. Um, and it was, it's a lot of work, but it's, uh, it's very important uh, to protect uh, town hall and their employees from the cybersecurity threats. The Environmental Commission met. Um, Beth Fisher was elected the new chair. We have a new member, Danielle Campiello, was sworn in as a new member. Um, there was discussion on the, uh, the spring shred fest and also the start of the discussion on our recertification for sustainable Jersey, which comes up every three years, which is a lot of work for the Environmental Commission. Um, so those discussions were underway. Uh, just a little expand on our facilities meeting today. Um, the focus on this was some potential ideas on how to improve the and efficiency of the workspace in the building department. The, also, the shed at the Larkin House with the approval of the committee at our last meeting, uh, that's also um, underway. Uh, I also want to thank the DPW for their great work, as always, plowing the streets and, and salting for the ice. We got you know, probably one of the best DPWs around. And then lastly, just with the uh, approval from the committee here, um, I would like to do the military tribute banner program again. We just got a notification from the company we used last year to start uh, putting some stuff in place. Um, also, I would like it to go on our spring newsletter. We just missed it last year going in the spring mm -hmm. newsletter. So, you know, if everyone's in favor of it, I would like to move forward with that yeah, again. Yeah. Yeah. We have about... 50 of them that are still here at Town Hall. We did send a message out to everyone that purchased when they were able to come pick it up. Um, we're going to rehang the, I mean, we'll contact everyone with permission, rehang the ones we have in your Town Hall. If anyone, I guess, wants to bring them back, okay. we'll put them back and then open it up. We have plenty of spots open up yeah. for anyone okay. that wants to uh, purchase a new military tribute banner. Okay. Yeah, and sounds like a great idea. Yeah. This time, maybe I'll get a photo of my brother with the Colonel Eagles on him, <laughs> the birds, yep. and put him on as a, he is a Colonel. My photo that I used for him, he didn't have the Colonel <laughs> on there. So I got to get a picture of him with the Colonel. And um, that's all I have to report today. Thank you, Pete. Um, just as a follow up on a few things, um, uh, congratulations to Kyle Sherm for completing his um, two year probationary. Um, period as a patrol officer, and he will be, um, as we will be approving his regular appointment as a patrol officer tonight. Um, at the police department also, uh, the chief reported they, that they had a department-wide meeting, one meeting, everyone there, except for, I think, two officers who were on, on uh, in sick bay. And um, it was um, a beginning of the year meeting. Um, to, to just have a discussion. Um, there were also, there was also, there's been a, a, um, a realignment of some of the squads just to make sure everything's okay there, which is healthy to mix things up. Um, and uh, it was good that everyone attended and it, it, from all, uh, from all uh, reports, the, uh, the meeting went quite well. Uh, we also talked about police cars um, and the possibility, in fact, prob the probability of trying a different brand for one of our police cars that we're purchasing in 2022. Um, uh, planning board, um, we're meeting next week. Um, that's right. Did, I thought I, did I report on that last time? Yeah, we they were gonna forgot that last time. The, yeah, the body cameras are fully deployed and, um, and there are, you know, there's, there's training and there are nuances, but by all accounts, they, they are and will be successful. 
Um, thanks, Tom. Planning Board meet, meets next week. Um, I'm not sure what's on the agenda other than the two carried items from last month. Uh, we're trying to get have a meeting, a pre-meeting meeting with the, uh, the attorney from the, um, the cell tower company who wants to install a generator back here to see if we can um, see just what they want to do. Um, also, thanks to our DPW for their, uh, for their performance in the, uh, the weekend storm. And, and uncustomarily, I'm going to give a shout out to the state highway DOT and, and the uh, county road department, too, who also did a, uh, they all did a good, everyone did a good job. So, uh, so thanks to everyone. Um, I, we just want to mention, too, that work is currently in progress by our DPW crew on the old conference room directly behind us here to modernize it and expand it a little more, make it a very better space to use. Um, nothing to report for historic preservation gardens or the Board of Health at this point. So I think that's all I have. Oh, uh, Library Board. Uh, they reorganized um, in, um, in uh, January, and Peggy Shigaris is the president of the Library Board for this year. So that is all I have. We once again have a uh, visiting scholar, Ari Bernstein, is with us. Um, Ari, do you have anything you'd like to tell us about? Uh, may I do so? Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone, for being so welcoming. I'm sitting in for my law partner, Rob Mandel, yep. who may be here shortly. Um, I do have two things to report. Um, with respect to the Maple Lake uh, acquisition, making progress, uh, the deeds yeah. have been approved by the county council. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Which is great. That's huge. Yeah, so now we're waiting to hear back from the title company. Great. So Great. Process. Um, the other thing to report is Wyckoff um, opted in and joined the National Opioid Settlement, which was available. Um, Al Del Pino, the only 10,000 uh, population, but he joined. Um, so that's in progress. Good. And, uh, estimated 90,000, I think, um, to, uh, to Wyckoff, but payable over 18 years. So the details will. Perfect. Thank That's you. Great. Thank you. It's good. Thanks, Ari. It's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Glad we made that deadline. Nancy, do you have anything before we adjourn Nothing. the work session? Nothing additional. Thanks. Okay. I just want to thank Nancy. You've been doing such a great <laughs> yeah. job in all yeah. of your That's different awesome. roles, and I know we've had about thank a million you. meetings that you've had to attend in the past month, so thank you. My pleasure. So then I'll take a motion to adjourn the work session. Motion to adjourn. Second. Mr. Madigan? Yes. Mr. Melchione? Yes. Ms. Rubenstein? Yes. Mr. Shanley? Yes. And Mayor Boonstra? Yes. So the motion is adjourned. The work session is adjourned. We have no C2 motion tonight for a closed session. So at 8 o'clock, we will reconvene the business meeting. Are we on or off? We're on.